Narake, welcome to Uprise Studios. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. And how are you doing today? I'm fine. Yeah, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah. you. Black is beautiful. With all the colors. You know. And then the glasses for the diamonds. Because black is beautiful. Yeah, black indeed is beautiful. <laughs> well, um, okay. Now, since you mentioned it, uh, your music, Black is Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, that was your recent um, single, right? Yeah. And how is it doing? How are people it's, it's really doing well. I mean, I'm really impressed. That it's, it's, Black is Beautiful is actually my album title and it's also a song. Oh, wow, and, wow. Sorry. You were sorry. And it's, it's both the songs and the album, it's doing well. I'm, I'm very much impressed. Great, great, great. We're also aware of that since we actually managed. Yeah. It's doing very well on Apple Music and then on Facebook, TikTok, Moonplay, and then all the other stores. And then um, we also noticed that a lot of Ghanaians are really jamming to it as well. Mm -hmm. And then second to that is um, America. So when you have time, that's the United States. When you have time, you should look at your, your stats all right. on your dashboard. Oh, okay. I'm sure you see that. Um, one thing I'd like to know why. Uh, you go for black is beautiful what is behind the concept all right um i sat down and i thought of it and um, when you listen to black is beautiful a song the first verse is talking about the color when you are black you don't need to breach it because black there's no way you, black is very expensive it's very very expensive when you breach it you can never come back again so when you have the color, you are blessed. Why breaching it? And the second verse is also talking about the black race itself. The black race itself. We have so many things as as being black, beautiful things, but we we have thrown it aside and we, we are portraying other countries their styles. So I I wrote this song. I came up with this song, with this lyrics for. To remind our Ghanaians and Africans that black is beautiful. Black, we have something that is more than gold, that is more than diamond. So we have to portray it. Let's portray the color black. Let's portray the beauty. Let's portray what we have, the minerals we have with us. Great, great. Black is beautiful. So um, I like to understand. Um, it seems you have a strong, um, uh, let's say, sense of identity. Uh, meaning that you are someone who is self-aware it's like you are aware of yourself because it's not easy for a lot of people to accept themselves yes. for who they are and then for you to identify that well you being black is beautiful and then to go ahead to compose a song to use to also inform and to, uh, educate other people to accept themselves for who they are i would like to know uh, how do you come by all this information well um there was a friend, she was my classmate here some time ago, she was supposed to say that. And she's very, she's darker than me, but we don't know, we went on vacation when we came back, she's white, I mean, even white is said, she's white her, and she has regretted, now she, she wishes she, she come back to the color black, but she cannot come back, it is spoiled, so that motivates me, that's tells me that no black eh if black is pop there's no way it can come back again so that means the color black is unique itself so why spoil it you understand and me i feel proud being having the color black because when i walk outside even the white people see my color and they appreciate it they love to I, I was having i was one having a friend from uk lucy she always admired my color because of my color she dashed me money all the time and she yes she wishes to be like me she, she wishes to have my color she can go and stand on the sun now from morning to evening <laughs> she thought maybe being black is through the sun, through the sun yeah. and then she, she realized no brown. this is from god <laughs> yeah so that that motivates me to you know compose this kind of song. Great, great. so now uh, being uh, an artist and also filming on the music scene in ghana and trying to break into the bigger market. Uh, how is it like working with producers? Mm. 
it's not easy but I, I always give thanks to God and I always thank my producers. To me, I've been so favored to the point that I don't even understand. Well, I've worked with a couple of producers who even, they don't even take a down from me. Because they've seen the talent in me and they want to help. If they're supposed, you know, I'm supposed to pay money, I don't think I can pay them. Engineers like Yuan, Pewizels, um, Cash 2, I mean, a whole lot of engineers who, who has me in Ghana here has been working with them. Um, they have been in the dance. So I'm, I'm lucky and I'm favored and all thanks to them. But uh, the game is not easy. We all know that it's not easy. But I believe hard works pay. Yeah, as an upcoming artist, you don't need to sit your ass down. Work hard, learn, read books to be able to, you know, acquire marriage from it and then put it in your song. Don't sleep. Write songs, work hard if you want to be on top like others, the mainstream artists. I don't think they, they slept. They work hard, so we, we, we're supposed to work hard to get to where we want to, to be. Great. Um, you mentioned um, reading books, especially as recommendation for upcoming artists who mm -hmm. want to make it. So, do you want to share with them or with us any book that you think? Okay. Um, <laughs> for, for, for books. <laughs> to enhance, you know, their their brain power. Well, I like reading storybooks. You know, you know the way I am. The way I get my song, eh? Me, someone like me, I like watching um this kind of Barbie movies with singing. They have songs inside. I copy songs from there a lot. Also, um, I like, you know watching YouTube, especially when I was writing um, Black is Beautiful, I had to go to YouTube, learn about how Blacks we are, how Black came about, how the color Black is and how people are appreciating the color. I, I, I googled it and I saw a lot of Black history, so that helps me to be able to get some words to fill in my lyrics. So I will encourage my up and coming artists to also be the same. I, I, it's not by force though, but me, my interest is I can watch cartoons and get songs from it. I can watch these high school movies. Maybe yours is not like that, but you can read books. You can read any any story books you feel like, but make sure you jot some some words inside to be able to help you write or add it to your songs. You understand? So that is what me I do to be able to get lyrics. So I advise my up and coming artists to also do the same. If only they will do it. I think it will help. Wow, beautiful. And information uh, on how you go about doing your research even before you write your music. It seems to have some, you know, academic parts to it. Not just about you writing the music, but then doing your research before you write the music. And also, it was beautiful that you actually um, acknowledged producers that you worked with in the past. Yeah. I also noticed that you have very beautiful music videos, especially for the same black and beautiful song. Yeah. Besides the black and beautiful, I mean, um, I want you guys, you guys out there watching, you should know that Clara K has a lot of beautiful songs that you should check out when you visit the, the platforms on the streaming services. But then we are focusing more on black and beautiful because this is the direction that it was. Um, who produced the video for that? Um, um, Awaga. Okay. Yeah, Awaga was the director of the video. You see, the black is beautiful video. I wrote on my songs. Yes. You see, um, I wrote my songs with the help of uh, a friend called, um, <laughs> I'm even forgetting his name, but uh, a friend also helped me compose the lyrics. For the video, I came up with my own concepts. I showed it to the director, Mawaga, and then he also added up something. We shot the video in Ghana here, um, Dansoma, a very cool environment. And then we finished up at uh, Denta. So the concept and everything was like our uh, here. And then Awaga supported it. The, the drawing, if you watch the video, you see that we've been doing some art on our face, 
we went total i mean i'm traditional yes i want to portray like i said i want to portray the african beauty our dress our way of dressing and stuff so that is what i put in the video and then the concept was written that mama k add up like a waga <laughs> I know you work with Kaboom and Jogo and other artists as well. And how is it like working uh, with other artists? Alright, especially Kaboom. Kaboom is one person that I really, since I was young, coming up when I heard of Kaboom, I I always pray to have him in the song. So um, when I was doing this um, um, bedroom dinner, there was um, there was one man I was working with. Um, it's called Wood, Kojo Wood. So then I was with him. Then Kaboom and Pirezo, they are very good friends with Kojo Wood. So that was when I met Kaboom and I was very happy to be able to meet Kaboom. So when I met I was like, boss, I always wanted to have you in the song today that I've catch you in this studio. You must do something for me. So wow, yes, I listen to your songs a lot. I said, oh, I will do it. So I thought maybe he wouldn't do it, but in fact, Kaboom, the guy is just so cool, just so humble. One day I was there, he was like, Hey, I'm doing the song. Listen to the lyrics if you like it. I, I listened to the lyrics and I loved it. So he killed it for me. And then the video too, he didn't take anything. He said, Don't worry, I'll come and shoot it for you. I called him and he met me. He shot the video. The same thing goes to NY Double. Like, they don't give me, they, they, they do not stress me. Even the song I feature NY Dog on it was composed by NYSA. So, he, he wrote a song and he called me to come and sing it. Yeah. What I find interesting about uh, most of the things you've said so far is that you've had great support from all the producers, the artists, collaborated with, yeah. which is really interesting. But most of the times you find that when uh, some females do, uh, have things to say about the music scene. They would normally say that it's not easy for them and everybody wants to take advantage of them or sleep with them. But this hasn't been, uh, from what you've said so far, it doesn't seem to be uh, a situation for you. Hmm. Or uh, there's something else to it that you know? uh, Not like there's uh, something to You see, there's one thing about Ghanaians I've noticed. Me. Anybody I go around or come around me, I make sure I learn from the person and I understand the person. I think there's one thing we the up and coming artists we haven't learned or we haven't seen from Ghanaian. The Ghanaian producers, um, Ghanaian um, DJs, presenters and stuff, they study people a lot. Yeah, especially the producers. When they see that the artist is good, they will work with you. Even if you don't have money, they will work with you. They, they, they started to know, no, this person has talent, but maybe the capital is not there. Why don't I help her, you know, play as a beat, record her, and see how far it will go. When they see that thing, they will definitely help you, no matter what. Even if you don't have money, they will help you. But we will come to studio, someone will bring, I've, I've been there a lot. I see a couple of artists bringing a, a song, I'm coming to. Uh, record a song when you listen to the song, you say, You yourself you will go bored, you will be angry. So, a person like this, the, the, the engineer has to charge you plenty so because he's going to put in so many hard work to for the song to come out very well so that it won't tarnish his name. You understand? But when you are good, the engineer is even feeling happy to even work with you, the artist. Then you will be like, oh, I produced a song for Clara K. I did this for Clara K. Because he knows you are good and you can push yourself. Or the song that is helping you with, you can push it. So that's one thing about Ghanaian producers. That is why I'm getting help. Because I've, I've asked questions about why they help me. And this is what they tell me. That Clara, we've seen the talent in you. And we've seen that you're a hard working girl. That is why we are supporting because we know one day we'll get there so we we'll keep pushing you and i'm very much appreciated yeah that's great um you played you played a concert i think not too long ago yeah was it like a street uh, that was uh our center yeah that was our center um, was that your last saturday okay 
yeah, just recently I, I performed with a local live band. When I say local live band, the xylophone, yes, the, the traditional. Yes, it, it's happened at uh, Accra Art Center. Mm, so um, that was my recent show. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, how how were you received? In fact, I was very much impressed. You know, my first time performing with a local band. Yeah. Even the band itself, they were happy that wow, I performed Black is Beautiful and Born Africa with um, the band. And you know, I blend it. Mm -hmm. The Black is Beautiful rhythm, I make sure I put in the African, Born African inside. So the band, I didn't even stress them. So they were like, wow, you are good. And the audience also received me well. Yeah, so I was I was very much in here. Yeah. So, um, how far are you looking to go with your music? Are you, are you focused more on the Ghana market or are you are looking at Africa or the whole world? I'm looking at the whole world. That is why my music, most of them are mixing with English. So that the outsiders can listen and understand. Because I want to go far. Me, that's why I said I'm a versatile artist. I can do anything. I can do traditional music. I can do anything. When the lyrics come, I'll make sure I can. That's me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to go far. So I'm doing songs that will make me go far. Yeah. So I'm going to wrap it up. Um, so, if you have any message like this, all right. Uh, I want to tell uh, my up and coming artists. This is one advice I will give. The game is not easy, but if you know you have the talent and you want to do music, don't be a lazy ass. Work hard. One day you will get there. Don't give up. See, when you start, people will say a whole lot of things to just make you stop what you're doing. But don't lose hope. Keep going. One day you will get there. So I call the them for the same thing. They, re they receive the same insults. And this music won't bring you anything. Blah 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 blah. But they didn't give up. And now see where they are. So one day you will get there. Don't 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 give up. And always pray. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Be prayerful. Because in anything, put God first, and you will go far. That is one advice I give to my my up and coming artists and also I want to thank everybody my bloggers, DJs, presenters that has been supporting Cloud from day one up to now. They are still supporting. They don't give up. I want to thank all of them. There are plenty I can't mention if they know themselves. Any blogger that has worked with me knows themselves. So I want to say a big thank you to you that if God permits and I get to where I want to be, I'm not going to forget. This is a promise to all the people that have been helping Clarabellas. And I want to tell you to continue helping. One day, it will be. It will be. All right, it's a wrap.